Hey y'all, it's Amanda. I am doing part two of my Torrid Fall Items video and I want to start off by just acknowledging the elephant in the room. I am surrounded by clothes. Um, you can't see everything, but I am surrounded by clothes. My office is full of clothes. So I had a little closet incident a few weeks ago where an overly full, uh, my main rack in the closet pulled away from the wall because it was overloaded. I have put clothes on racks in totes. They're just hanging on my storage buckets and my, my storage system I use here instead of a dresser. So you probably saw all this chaos in my last video. You're still going to see it in this video because I work really slow due to disabilities. So I have said numerous times that I need to get a bunch of stuff up on Poshmark. I am working on getting the space to do that. I don't like putting stuff on Poshmark in a half-baked listing. You know, I really want to know the specs of each item for the sake of the buyer and the fabric content and get good clear photos. Maybe try things on, but that takes a lot of effort, especially when I am barely able to get through my work day at home and a lot of times have to just uh, crash all evening and recuperate. I think everything I'm trying on today is a size six. I may have a couple of fives mixed in, but right now I can't remember what all I have to try on. I think everything is in a six. So I am a size six or five in the top, a size six or 30 in the bottom. The 30 with Torrid is bigger than a 30 outside of Torrid, so just keep that in mind. Pay attention to the size chart if you shop various places. I'm definitely bottom heavy. I'm on a Manjaro weight loss journey, so my body is changing, but my body is not shaped completely balanced. You'll see that when I try things on. I'm also only like 5'3", so sometimes things are too long for my short waist, like where my hip flares out and gets wide might be where the waist sits on me. So we'll see how everything fits today. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have questions about anything I tried on or questions about my size, questions about my life, questions about my chaos, leave it down in the comments. I'm happy to answer questions from you. I love seeing your comments. I know some of you really enjoy seeing my kitties. I'm sure they will make an appearance at some point today. Enough jibber jabber. Let's just get into the video. Okay, this sweater is in a size six. Um, these came out in the spring, I think, so it was on clearance. If it looks familiar, I have this same sweater in a really bright, um, like a Kelly green, um, and I love it. And they wash really well, which is great because I've already got something on this one from wearing it to a, a gathering a couple of days ago. Like I said, this is in a six. It is kind of body conforming. Um, in typical fashion, the sleeves are too big for me. But that will be an easy alteration. I may even have my mom help me with that one. The sleeve just needs taken in so you can really see the puff and then the little ruffle here, which is to die for. Obviously, you can see my bra through this one, but I would just wear something flesh tone. I like the little v-neck here with this um, stitch detailing. There's not much to say. Um, I could have maybe sized down to a size 5 to resolve the sleeve issue, but I like the way the body fits on this. And I don't think it shrank when I washed it, but I might dry this to get it to shrink just a hair before doing the sleeves, because I think it says to lay it flat to dry. So that is the yellow sweater. If you see a blue waistband here, I'm wearing um, blue chub rub shorts from Thigh Society, which is my favorite. Um, undershort to wear so I do highly recommend these. I will leave a link to this exact short in the description box. Um, Y'all know my size. I'm a little big for a 6X and I believe that's the size I have in these and they fit really comfortably. I think even if I had my apron belly still they would still fit comfortably. Here they are. Really nice thin. They're much more comfortable than like a pair of tights and they're in the 9 inch length but I prefer the 11 inch just because of the shape of my particular thigh. So this skirt, let me tilt this down a little. 
I showed you this skirt in black in the last video. It's a rib knit like a tank top or a t-shirt type of material. Hopefully you can see that. We have an elastic waistband here. My one complaint about these is the waistband is not stitched down on the bottom so it it kind of flips up when you put it on but I haven't had an issue with it when I was wearing it. I wore the black one the other day to a basketball game. The angle might make that look a little funny, a little penguin like taper shaped, but this is just a straight skirt down from the hip. It just comes straight down in a column so machine washable machine dryable versatile um, I think it would look really cute with like a t-shirt and a flannel and some combat boots the black one I wore the other day I should have taken a picture of I had on the mesh crop tee from my last video with a black tank top with a black skirt and some combat boots it looked really cute all right let's move on to the next item okay I'm showing you the weekend boot cut Pants. These are in like a twill material, um, just like the more wide leg crop version I showed you from the summer. These don't have maybe just a tiny bit of stretch, but really no stretch um, in terms of like going down a size or anything like that. These typically don't fit me, the twill pants from Torrid, so I'm impressed that these do fit. They come almost all the way up my butt which is unusual we have elastic in the back two pockets um, I got these in a six short and I don't know if you can tell they're still a little bit long I might hem these like an inch and a half because they're dragging the ground and I'm trying to stand wide so you can really tell these do have a boot flare at the bottom it's not huge but these do look a little different than just the straight wide leg. Drawstring waist, which is functional. We have pockets in the front, which I appreciate. Yeah, these are good. Um, my bottom half is just a little large for a 6 or a 30. Like the trouser pants and work pants fit me fine. But the jeans never fit, so if that gives you some kind of size reference. Okay, I have a little graphic tee here. This was a new release that I just picked up as soon as I saw it. It's not the super, super oversized fit that some of Tord's shirts had over the summer, but it definitely is roomy. Also in a size six. Perfectly cute. Now, I don't know if I would wear all these things together, but I have, um, I also picked up this button-up cardigan sweater in a size 6. This was final sale, but I wanted it when it was regular price. Some people complained about it having skull buttons, but in person you can barely tell. So here's the detail on this knit. This is really, really nice. Here's the skull button, if it'll focus. This is uh, hip length. It comes down a little bit to my low hip. Um, if I pulled it, it would button, like stretch it out just a little bit perfectly work appropriate. This is a really warm sweater and I am totally shocked that the sleeves are not too long. Comes down to here. I can feel we have a couple little button pockets here. That would be great to unbutton and the perfect height to stick your hands in while you're out walking around. Maybe I do like this together. Kind of mixing the styles. All right, give this a thumbs up if you can find it. Here we have a cute, uh, like a career shirt, I would call this. 
it is the um, Georgia tulip sleeve blouse you see it has this kind of ivory colored trim it's not quite tan but it's also not stark white a tulip sleeve you definitely have to be comfortable with your arms showing if you wear this one by itself we have a double layer of Georgette down the body um, I apologize I'm still wearing black pants um, yeah we have uh, plenty of room in the upper body it's a little tight across my hip just because of my build we have, I think it has a little bit of a shirt tail hem, but I can't tell in the viewfinder. Here's the back. So this one on me fits great when I'm standing. Um, I actually picked this up to wear tucked in with a high waist, kind of a riding skirt style um, skirt that I have. So tucked in it'll be perfect when it's out I was not comfortable sitting down in it with it over my butt and hips so I pulled the back up a little when I sat down just so it wouldn't bust a seam so keep that in mind if you decide to pick this up it did fit perfectly fine standing up but sitting down it was a little snug across the hip if you are ultra busty you might have a little difficulty with this um, but I think us average size women for this size will do just fine. I think they had this in a pink and black polka dot as well, if that is interesting to you. And as always, I will be sure to link this in the description box. Look at this beautiful deep teal color and this nice deep V, long sleeves. Tord calls this the favorite tunic. It's in the super soft with a v-neck and we have a little bit of side slit action going on here. These tees are just a little more body conforming because of the fabric in it if memory serves. Yeah, 95% round, 5% spandex. It does indeed make this really, really soft. Um, over washing time, in my experience, these do start showing some wear a little bit more than the cotton tees but this is a nice versatile fabric that you could dress up or dress down like this would look really cute with a flannel it would also pair well with a suit so the favorite tees are nice and flexible i might have one in another color to show you i think this would also look really cute with like a vest as it gets a little cooler over top cute shirt okay cute 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 so torrid calls this their i think uh gauze flannel oversized shacket uh shacket indeed it is extremely long as you will see in a minute we have um a cuff sleeve with a little i always forget what these are called but we have a little loop here with a button to hold the sleeve up if I let the sleeve down, it would be really, really open, um, which is not my favorite. But you can do that if you want, and it does have a button at the cuff. We have patch pockets on the chest with a button flap. Give you a look at the full length. This sucker is long, like almost dress long, which I love. So you know my bottom half is a little big for a size 6. This still does, would button just fine if I wanted, but this is probably about exactly how I would wear it. Maybe not with this t-shirt, but let's take a look at this t-shirt. So this is the Pink Floyd Relax Fit Cotton Boxy Tee. They call the color Botanical Garden. This is in a size 6. This fits just the same as the Ice Cube shirt. Um, it's not as big as their oversized fit. Definitely boxy as they say on the tag. I quite like Pink Floyd, so I'm happy to have this. It's a unique one. I've not seen this before. I've put off buying um, Pink Floyd t-shirts that have like the dark side of the moon 
graphic and all that kind of stuff. I do love Dark Side of the Moon. But I thought this t-shirt was really neat um, in this green color. So, big thumbs up. I've got another band tee to show you here. Um, and I can't tell you just at the, at the moment what it's called, although I'll have it in the description box, of course. In a picture of it on screen, my cat very kindly tore the tag off for me, so I guess I'm keeping this one. Um, Def Leppard Hysteria, the graphic here is more pink than I realized um, from the photo on Tord's website, but I actually like it. I think it's really cute. This is a super bright green, of course. Normal length sleeve. This is not a boxy oversized fit. This one's a little closer to the body. We have 60% cotton, 40% polyester, I think was the blend. Um, this is perfectly great on its own or layered. I would like this with the plaid jacket I just took off. I also have a black and white plaid shirt that would look really cute with this. So yeah, overall I love it. Thank you Tord for bringing this to us. Thumbs up. Okay, here we have a mini stretch chalet trapeze dress. I think it may, no, it may not have said trapeze. But any, at any rate, um, it's made out of stretch chalet. This is the color sassafras, which Tord showed a lot of last fall and this fall. It's one of my favorite colors. I love anything in the burgundy crimson plum family so um, this is definitely more of a stretch chalet than their old chalet and we have a little bit of a deep cut here adjustable straps it's not too too big under the arms which is usually an issue for me oh this is one of the ones that has a stretch panel or like an elastic band across the top of the back and under the side so it doesn't Gape is bad. How clever. Thank you, Torrid. Uh, no pockets here. I think it's about knee length, but I don't have my glasses on and I can't feel through these pants. Nice cut. It's kind of a fit and flare shape. I would wear this with one of my um, band tees under it that I just showed or possibly one of my little tees from Half Tee that I've talked about many, many, many times. I have those in white and black, and that would be nice and comfortable. You wouldn't be able to see the bottom band. So at first I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this because I like the oversized ones they had out in the summer. Um, I know this is probably figure enhancing or flattering, and that's great, but I am just going for comfort these days. So... I think this has enough stretch in it to still be comfortable, even though it's like a fit and flare. I wasn't sure I would like the fit across the midsection, but uh, yeah, it's really comfortable. I sat down on my ball wearing it a few minutes ago while I was getting ready, and um, it was really nice and comfortable. So I think I'll keep this one, especially considering the color. So when I start posting photos on Instagram again, maybe you'll see it over there in a full outfit. But I give this one a thumbs up for sure. Oh, and I got this in a size 6. So I do recommend if you're shaped similar to me that you get your regular size. Here we have the gorgeous uh, super soft jersey tee, I think. Um, I long ago took the tag off of this because... It is gorgeous and I've been wearing it. So this is, I think they call this the Sketch Rose Print. I'll let you see it up close. Um, these jersey tees are in the same fabric as the favorite tee that I also showed in this video. It's um, a rayon spandex blend. I think like 95% rayon, 5% spandex. So it's a little fitted, but I love layering this with other things. So here you can see the length. It does go down past my belly region to my low hip. It does go all the way over my booty, I think. It should. Most of the way. Um, I just can't get over this print. It is extremely soft. 
my concern is let me get my face and camera so I showed this to you guys in the last video in like a black and tan kind of a black and cream stripe which also is absolutely gorgeous and it's been washed a couple times and now the black portion is starting to get just a little bit of that teeny tiny pilling where you can see like it almost looks more of a gray color now um, so I'm really nervous to wash this I will wash it wrong side out and cold and not dry it and hope that doesn't beat up the threads too much but I think that's just the nature of this fabric so if you get one buyer beware um, but I still recommend this print is gorgeous thumbs up I'm gonna give y'all a moment to just take in this beauty oh I hope you can see the sparkle on camera it's everywhere Every single piece of this graphic is covered in some kind of a sparkle little stone. It's really special. So this is the Sparkle Moth Relax Fit Heritage Jersey Crew Tee. It is cotton. It is comfortable. The Heritage Tees are not terribly close in the neck, not on me. Um, they have nice roomy arms and a roomy fit. Although on me, it still is a little close in the um, hip region as usual. But let me back up and show you. Definitely could wear this with leggings. Which is a high priority for me. <laughs> working from home. And I think this would look stunning on video. Um like doing a video call so I'll enjoy wearing this now I was going to show it to you with this kimono but I wanted to just give you a moment with the tea by itself this is the chiffon lace trim kimono toile floral wild ginger wild ginger is the color this is also in a six you can see well let me just throw it on not my cup of tea but I thought y'all might like it so I did pick one up but I don't think I'm gonna keep it because of the sleeves I cannot stand bell sleeves and all the extra fabric down here I love the way they look but I cannot stand to feel it so these have obviously a super dramatic sleeve all the way down from the armpit crochet trim here is cute beautiful print let me back up I think we have a waist seam here yeah and then it flares out just does this flare out a little bit honestly y'all I'm not looking in a mirror and I can't tell this might be straight cut but it does close all the way over the front of me which is my priority when I'm getting an over piece these sleeves are just crazy even if I hemmed them up where they were a good length for me, I just, again, I still don't like the fullness. But this is a classic Torrid design, so you can't go wrong with it if it is something that uh, fits your taste. It would look really cute with jeans, lots of different t-shirts. It looks good with this shirt. So I'll still give it a thumbs up. Okay, y'all, that is everything I had to show you. I am beat but it was worth it to show you these things that I just picked up from Torrid. I hope everything is still available. Um, some of these things I tag as favorites and then I go through my favorites list or I, I think you can still download some kind of an app where you can track items and it shows you if they go in or out of stock. Like you can get a reminder, a text, or an email. Anyway, my point is some of these things have been going in and out of stock. In particular, I noticed with the red uh, gauze jacket that those like there's one that I want that's two-tone and then there's another color I think that's maybe more of a greenish or a bluish whichever one I keep wanting and it goes in stock and I miss it and then it goes out of stock so um, the other colors of it keep going in and out of stock so I can see them when I check for the one I want that the others are going in and out so probably people are getting them deciding if they want it or not returning it maybe for another size so you might be able to pick one up if someone returns it in fact I think I'm keeping mine 
but I may not keep everything from my haul today so that's just an example of where some things are going to go back to Torrid and be available to someone else to take them home and make it part of their wardrobe. So thanks for bearing with me while I'm going through my closet debacle. It is not due to be fixed anytime soon. It is not due to be resolved anytime soon. I work so, so, so incredibly slow. And this is an opportunity for me to really take a critical look at my wardrobe, which means I also have to take a critical look at my life and make some decisions about work and disability and how long I think I can keep working until my body gives out and you know do I need to hang on to some things so there are deep questions that go along with sorting through this wardrobe so my room and my space is going to look like a mess and just know that I absolutely hate it like even my purse is up here are a cluttered up mess from where they just got thrown up there out of my closet. I know plenty of y'all are gonna say, we don't care, we don't care. You're so sweet. Thank you very much. You are just the best. But um, since it represents me on my channel and like how I live, I'm a little self-conscious about it. Also, if you are enjoying my ring today, I am testing jewelry for a company that I will tell you about soon in another video. So far, I'm pretty impressed, so stay tuned to hear more about that. As always, if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please remember to give me a thumbs up. It does greatly help my channel. Be sure to check and see if you're actually subscribed to my channel, if you are enjoying your time here. I know you are. If you made it this long, we're really vibing with each other, so just go ahead and subscribe. What is there to lose? And certainly ring the bell if you want to be notified when I post a video. My posting schedule is still a little erratic just depending on when I have time to film, when I have time to shop, when I have time to get all the clothes ready. Oh my gosh, there was another shirt I forgot to show y'all. I'm going to do a clip on that. You know what, I'll just talk about it now. There is a Halloween sweatshirt that I picked up that is black and it has a hood that when you flip up it has cat ears and a cat face on it. It is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Ironically, right now, my black cat is sleeping on it. So if I can get a clip of her sleeping on it, I will show you, but I am not going to make her get up so I can show you this sweatshirt. So I mentioned my office is an absolute mess because I have clothes in here due to my closet issue, but if you wondered why, I can't film the black Halloween sweatshirt. Hopefully you can make out this little incognito baby. Hi, nosy Rosie. Sleeping nice and snug. The bottom line is it doesn't quite fit the way I want it to. It's pretty short, coming down maybe only a few inches past my hip. And it will zip, but it is extremely snug in the hip. So it's a shame. It is one of the softest things I've ever felt. It's one of the cutest things I've ever seen, but I think I'm going to have to send it back. And I want to send it back in time that someone else can get it and enjoy it for the Halloween season. Spooky season. Okay, now I think that's everything I had to share with you today. So please remember to give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, all the things. Thank you for being here, and I will see you soon in another video. Bye!